What's up guys, so uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing my first uh, how-to video. And um, if I just flip the camera around, this is what I'm going to be doing. So this is my little camera setup where I'm going to have it in front of me. Um, I am going to be making soft plastic lures. Here's the mould. Got my glitters here, cheap ones. These are uh, like... I think they're called mica powders. It's got uh, loads of pigment and that to it. Almost goes like a pearlescent colour. And then we've got our colours here. Just experimenting still. I've only made a few so far. Um, and over here, we've got some glow in the dark powder. You can see there. We've got some others here. Orange, pink, fuchsia. Colour I'm going to be making, I'm going to go for white uh, with a silver glitter, I think. Make some more of them. So, uh, yeah, let's get making. Right, first step give your uh, silicon a good shake. Do. All I'm doing, I'm not going to do a lot, just enough to make the mould really. I'm just going to pour that in a little bit more. There we go. So, all I've got there, turn it around that way. Just come to the bottom of that line. Next step, I'm going to do, so I'm going to put it in the microwave. Now I'll start it off for a minute and uh, I'll leave it going probably for about 45 seconds before I stir it. While I'm waiting, I'm just going to get everything ready, um, take the tops off things and uh, get it set up so it's nice and uh, quick and easy for me to do. minutes up. I'm just going to give it a stir. It's like a milky consistency is how it starts off. You can see it's still super runny. Give it a quick stir though. Put it back in the microwave. Put it on for another minute but I'll give it 30 seconds and then uh, I'll give it another stir. Back over here I might Add a little bit of uh, this glow in the dark powder to this one. Yeah, so I'll take the lid off that. There we go. Now, it's recommended you wear like a mask and gloves, eye protection, all that sort of thing, but I don't. There you go, I don't know if you can see that, but it's going quite a bit thicker now. So you just want to keep keep it stirring every few seconds, 15, 20 seconds or so, just so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Now you want it to go back to a runny consistency, but it'll be uh, clear. There we go, we're almost there. not easy doing this one-handed. Alright, another 20 seconds. There we go. That's perfect. Right, now comes the fun part. We're going to add our colour. Back in there, quick. Right. 
what we're going to do white won't it so I start off with just a few drops two three four five six there we go and stir that in you can see almost turned it white already but I think we need a few more drops in that put another six in I think there we go there we go that's a nice colour now we're going to add our uh, glitter well, like quite a bit of glitter Give that a stir up. There we go, look. Make sure you give it a good stir. So it's just going off again around the edges. So you just bring them lumps in the middle. Stick it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds or so. And get back to you. Right guys, there we go. It's just gone in for another 30 seconds. Lovely consistency. Now I'm just going to add a bit more, or not a bit more. First time I'm using this glow powder. Just going to add a little bit. Stir that in. Mix it in well. Right. Now, it's time to pour the lure. Might be a bit tricky pouring it over uh, the phone, but I'll give it a go. Nice and slow. There we go, look, get this one done. And the last one. All right, now we've still got, as you can see, enough maybe for one more. So, what we wanna do, just leave that to go off for a little while, it takes about two minutes and uh, once it's gone off enough got a little tub of water put it in there and it just like cures it a lot quicker so the thing that that's uh, made me want to do this the most is uh, the weather we've been having to be honest it's just been shocking the last month two months it's just been constant heavy rain high winds and uh, I've not been able to get out at all, so, you know, there's no videos being made. And this just gives me something to do indoors. Um, I've made a few up already, like I said, so it's not the first time I'm doing it. But I've only had this stuff for a week, so I'm still playing around, coming up with uh, colours and sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, they look pretty cool. So I'll show you the finished product in a minute. All I do guys to check if they're ready to come out is just lift the mould up a little bit. And did you see the glitter just move in there? It's just not set. I just need to leave it a little longer. With the stuff that's all over this uh, jug, all you do, peel that back, look. Cleans up really easy. Put that back in there. Give it a scrape round the sides. Get it all down, and that's ready to be microwaved again. Right, guys, these are now ready to take out the mold. As you can see, there's nothing sliding around there. That's so all I do pinch the tail there, pull it out, just be careful. There we go, block it in the water. I have to take two of these actually. There we go. <clears throat> in the water that's just going to cure it a lot quicker all the way through it's nice cold water 
Right, while they're in there, we'll uh, pull these out of the fridge. Well, not free, enough for what I've got left, as much as that can do. <clears throat> Just the one. We'll get two out of that. Just about. There we go. So that's five lures made there from scratch. And you know, it's taken me less than 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I mean, I must have made probably around 30 lures now out of this. One litre. I've got just under half left, maybe half left. So. You know, it's well worth the money. <clears throat> and, um, you know, the possibilities are, well, it's up to your imagination, really. I mean, these are resin colours, which I thought I'd try. Got like a gold. Uh, you know, there's quite a few different colours here. This green looks nice. And then, like I said, with the powders, let's grab that one out, maybe. Unscrew the lid quick. Don't know if you can see that in there. But, uh, no. You can see all the pigment there. Stunning colour. <clears throat> so, guys, just going to say this um, silicon. And the uh, the mold from Lure Factors is you know top quality stuff, very impressed with it. However, the custom service side wasn't too great. Uh, the wrong mold was sent out to me. I ordered a 2.5 inch and a 5.5 inch turn up, and it's not really, you know, it's not gonna do what I wanted it for. Um, so after a few emails back and forth, the uh, problem eventually got sold. What he wanted was for me to send the mould back. Once he had received it, he'd then send the 2.5 inch mould. Now, in my eyes, he should have just sent the, uh, the correct mould out anyway, regardless. You know, it's not, it's nothing to them. Um, but like I said, after a few emails back and forth, he uh, phoned me up. And um, we we just had a discussion. Uh, apparently, there's a mistake. Well, there is a mistake because I found it on the website. It says there's a 140 mega slug. In the description, it's got 2.5 inch, which is what I went by. Um, the only other one on there is a 110 mega slug, which also isn't, you know, two and a half inches. So I thought. I'd go for the description, which said 2.5 inches. Um, but this got sorted out on the phone. He's sending me another mould out, um, free of charge. So, um, appreciate that, Mark. Thanks. And, um, yeah. So, once that was sorted out, you know, I can't fault him. Can't fault the company or whatever. So, um... I've put another order in already, more silicon, I've got the uh, UV one this time, a couple of colours to try out and some glitters, but um, yeah, that was just a quick little review on that, I don't really, you know, I'm not here to slate people, I'm just going to say how uh, my experience was and um, not beat around the bush to be honest. This other stuff. Just turn the camera around. <clears throat> this other stuff, this uh, epoxy resin, I think this is all just from uh, Amazon. This is brilliant stuff, really impressed with this. This is just insane stuff, this is. The mica powder, also from Amazon, I think. 
Um, and these are just glitters from the works. One pound they cost for them. So, you know, can't really expect too much, but if I take one of these, or I don't know if you can even see it in the water, you can see the glitter going through. But yeah. I'm just going to give you a different angle on this one that I'll make up. <clears throat> I'm going to go for a green one. This is a fluorescent green apparently. Put a few drops in. There we go. Six drops. I'm going to stir. few more drops I think. Another six drops there. Uh, if you can see the colour there, it's kind of tinted the the uh, Silicon, just going to get it back in the microwave, and then I'm going to add some of that powder. I'm going to go for uh, this powder, I'll, uh, I don't know what you can see there, but you should see it when it goes in. I don't know if you can see, but that's just tinted it. It's almost like a transparent green. Now, for this powder, just going to put a small amount in there. It's hardly anything. Give that a mix. There we go. That's a nice colour now. You see a difference that's made. I'm also going to add some gold glitter into this. Not too much. Stir that up. Now this colour reminds me of uh, the Savage Gear sand hill. I can't remember what colour it is, it's like a watermelon one or something. But uh, I'm just going to refire that up in the microwave for another 20 seconds. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Everything away. There we go. Molds are ready to pour. Right. <clears throat> oh, that's a cool colour. Right, let's pour it. Doesn't matter if it's not the neatest job, because you can trim it up at the end. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> they look awesome. Do a little close up for you. These are the white ones that I've just poured. 
got a little bit of trimming up to do. Excuse me. But the movement on them, you know, bass are going to love these. Let's put, uh, let's put this light on it. Just to test if there is any glow at all. Can't remember what colour I put on that. I think it was a purple glow. <clears throat> Let me just keep it on the head for a little while. Yeah, there you go. You can see it glowing there. These ones will be going uh, off to Jay from Sm Smash Fishing. Hopefully, they'll do the job for him out there. That's the colour he wanted. He wanted uh, white, so I thought, you know, I'd um, add a little something different to it, you know? Not that glowing purple, if he's a knight or something. Just adds that extra something, doesn't it? <clears throat> like I was saying before, you can see the little bit of movement there. It's still warm. Just gotta let that go off a little bit. Right then, let me just move the water a bit closer. These are all fine, all ready to go. So, uh, what I'm going to do with that actually quick, just going to trim it just there. We got still hot, but what an awesome colour. Get that in the water quick. All I trimmed there, guys, was just that little bit that's joined them two together. Trim that off. <clears throat> and there we go. Another free lures made. What you can do with this stuff, you know, peel it out as easy as that. That's the colour. You can save it and then, uh, you know, if you're out fishing and they get bitten up and that and there's chunks out of them, you can just remount it down. Or I'll just chuck that in the water quick just to cool it down. Or you can just, you know, melt that together, whatever you want, or you don't have to keep it at all. all right, let me uh, take one of these out. Look at that, lovely glitter in there, nice shine to it. It's really simple to trim it. All you need to do, go at an angle, 45 degrees. And the scissors should just follow the lure down. Like so. Turn it over. Do the same. Yeah, it slowly does it. There we go. One lure ready to go. Just trim another one up. There we go, a little bit on the tail. Second one done. As easy as that. <coughs> Just show you some of the colours I've done quickly. Should be here somewhere. Here they are. So these ones 
just in this tray up here they're all of these colors mixed together just you know to get them out there and I've also added some uh, sea slime just to give it a nice scent and you definitely smell the fish in those got a nice bright pink there this is like a dark purple with some blue we've got a red a gold glitter this is just pure uh, of this uh, mica powder the blue got more whites and uh, a few different pinks with silver glitter oh no we've also got this red as well <coughs> and this green to add into it oh, thanks for watching this video guys I know I've not uploaded for quite a long time now but like I said earlier it's just the weather I don't know if I take you over there now just to the window you can see it's still raining so uh yeah, if you want me to do some more how-to videos or if you've got any like colour requests for me to do or you're interested in the lures, just uh, send me a message on Facebook or Instagram or leave a comment below and um, yeah, see what I can do.